This video has been brought to you by DataVinci Analytics Agency. Hey there. Welcome back to DataVinci's YouTube channel. Today, we have a very interesting topic lined up for you. We are going to be discussing HubSpot's custom events and how you can implement them with GTM. So what are we going to cover today? First off, we'll start off by understanding what exactly are custom events and how are they useful within HubSpot. Secondly, what are the other methods of implementing custom events rather than just using GTM? So you'll see all of the methods available. And then we'll jump into the GTM implementation demo. So if you would like to just skip all this theory and get right into the demo, you can find the timestamps below. So this is going to be fairly short and simple. Or is it? Let's see. So what are custom events? So custom events were previously known as custom behavioral events, and it is a feature within HubSpot that allows users to track or analyze in interactions that are specific to your website, email, or any type of other asset. So these events go beyond the standard analytics that HubSpot provides to, make, to help you get deeper insights on how exactly your, your contacts are engaging with your content. All in all, custom events offer a more flexible way to track interactions that don't necessarily fit into, pre, into the predefined HubSpot events. So it is something similar to what GA4 provides as custom events, like GA4 as well has a list of predefined events and the auto track events. But if you would like to shape it as per your business requirements, you would need to use custom events. So how are they useful apart from them being used to shape it as per your requirements, what are the, the what are the use cases of them? So let's see. So number one, you can automate certain marketing or sales processes based on specific user actions. So if a user does something, then trigger a workflow or add it to a list and so on. Secondly, you can segment your contacts based on your custom interactions for a better targeted marketing campaign. So you can import these add audiences into your ad platforms and thus improve your conversions. And finally, you can use these events for reporting. You can understand how are these events driving your final conversion onto your website. So what are some of the methods of implementing custom events? So presently, there are four methods at the time of making this video. The so number one is the codeless method in which you can select the ID or the class of any of the elements on your page or the page URL on your of, for instance, if you want to track an event that is firing on the thank you page, you can do that using the codeless tool available within HubSpot. Secondly, if you want to track offline events, like if you, if you have a business of running offline seminars and if you would like to attribute those offline seminars to your HubSpot contacts, you can do so by importing your sheet into HubSpot and HubSpot will ask you to map the data fields and all those events would be classified under those contacts. The third and fourth method are sort of similar where you can use either JavaScript or you can use an API. These, both of these methods can be used for various sorts of events such as login, purchase, add to cart, checkout, you name it. These can be used for anything. So now, coming to the main part, let's jump into the GTM implementation demo. The implementation, you would first need to create an event within HubSpot and then use that code snippet within GTM. So how can you do that? First, navigate your custom event section within HubSpot. You can find that under reporting and custom events. And later you'll find a CT on the top right corner, which is create an event. Once you click on that, you will have these four options. You can select JavaScript and click on next. You can name your event as per the event that you want. For this demo, we'll focus on the add to cart event. So let's say this is add to cart. And you can give in description and next. Now over here, you can create some of the custom event properties that you would like 
to be tracked for this event such as the product name, the product price or perhaps the role of the user as in whether the user is a fresh user is it, or a returning user something like that. So you can create you know, by selecting any of these. So you, can, you have an option of a string property, a number property, a date property or a timestamp property or an enumeration property. For this demo, we'll just keep it simple and use the default properties, which itself is a lot. You can click on this default event properties to see what is what is tracked. So you'll see the UTM content is tracked uh, along with the region, along with some of the device information as well. So sufficient enough, uh, sufficient enough information is getting tracked. Click next, and here is the code snippet that you need to copy and click on done. So once you are once you have the code snippet, you can jump into your Google Tag Manager and click on new. Over here you will need to find the custom HTML tag and simply paste your code. Just need the script tags. Okay. And as per the statement written out here, replace the false with your custom logic that returns true when the event should be tracked. So we basically need to change the if condition to fire. But in our case, we already know that this tag will fire based on the trigger that we attach. So we don't really need this if condition and you can remove it out. All right, and let's add the trigger. The trigger should be an add to cart event. And let's name the tag chtml apart add to cart. All right, let's click on save. And let's click on the event that we had and let's click on analyze. Now here, this is where we will debug the event. So let's preview. Okay. And this is where the add to card event fires. So I'll just click on one of them and the product should be added and a data layer push has happened along with some information and the tag has fired. Let's see within HubSpot whether the data has shown up or not. It will take some time for the event to show up. While we wait for that, let's check our net network request to see what is getting fired when the event is pushed. So I click on add to cart. And there are certain events that are fired. Let's see. Oh, my bad. We missed a very important part of this is that we forgot to add the tracking code. The tracking code is basically the HubSpot base code that needs to fire on every page before the tag fires. So it's something similar to the other pixels where the base code needs to fire before the event tags, right? So we missed that. Let's just add that in. Let's name it HS base code. Add the trigger as all pages. What's the problem out here? Oh, it's already enclosed under script tag so let's click on save and let's preview again and test okay so there's an error what is the error so i don't really even need this because it's already within the script tag Cool, that should be it. 
now let's preview again test again okay the page has loaded and let's fire the add to card event and yeah now it should have fired yep we have out here track up spot and the event has gone along with some other parameters let's look at the data within up spot whether that has shown up or not let's click go to your event and go to analyze and yeah the data has shown up it has shown the one completion with one unique visitor so that's how you can implement custom events with gtm in hubspot let's end this presentation by wrapping up what we've learned so custom events provide you a way to track custom interactions specific to a business that does not fit into hubspot standard interactions they can be used for customer segmentation, targeted marketing, and reporting on user behavior. There are various ways of implementing custom events in HubSpot. You can use the codeless interface or import from a spreadsheet or use the JavaScript or API. For our demo, we had used GTM and the steps of implementation are, you first need to create an event in HubSpot, copy that code snippet and paste it into a custom HTML tag in GTM, Make sure you edit the firing conditions and add the appropriate trigger and then you test and publish. So that was it for this presentation. Thank you for watching and may the force be with you.